Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back at Goldcrest Valley, our home sweet home here on Farm Sim 17. So we're going to clean up these logs here. And yeah, let's see, I need to pick them up from the other side. We're going to, to the other side. I don't know the words exactly to that song, but I know the song. Alright, we're going to pick these up. I'm not going to trim these up or anything just gonna pick them up and put them in this long trailer that's one benefit to having the semi log trailer is that you can put the longer trees that are not cut by the scorpion king you can put them in here and they will fit all right so yeah we're gonna get these logs cleaned up we did a lot of cutting over there by the pigs we got to get all those cleaned up um, and then i think we're gonna move down to the sheep eventually so but the soybeans are coming in nice got all that plowed up and that's all one big field back there now I can come back later and plow it up some more if I want to expand it out a little bit and I probably will because if we get into manual seeding we'll do the the out, outer rows there I've really gotten into uh, into the small field, small not small field, the small farm over at uh, Old Stream. Hang on, somebody's texted me here. Let me respond to this text momentarily. There we go. All right. Put that aside somewhere. There we go. All right. Normally I have that kind of muted or turned off or something, but it was an important, importante texto. And I just butchered Spanish probably, but oh well. Um. Anyway. Uh. What was I saying? Yeah. I'm, uh. If you haven't checked out Old Stream. Um. Uh, check it out I put it out on Sundays I put out uh, six videos I think on July 4th and then I think I put out a couple more yesterday uh, which would have been Sunday the 9th yeah that's right so yeah I really like that map uh, there's just something about it. It's it's the quality of it is really good, even though it is a small map. The quality of the design of the map, uh, the 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 buildings, the design. I just I like the design. It, it's kind of homey, like like a little small home ma home farm map. So go check it out. I think that one might stick around if if they come out with an update. They updated it last time and they expanded it a little bit, so. Maybe they'll expand it again. We'll uh, we'll see about that. But uh, if they expand it again, but they expanded it last time, and I'm happy with the current version. On to be honest with you, they added a couple more large fields, and uh, I say large. They're about the spot. The large fields on that map um, are probably about the size of field three maybe field 26 maybe something like that they might they might be about that size or field 25 but that's as large as they get unless we plow them and we may do that very soon I don't have my beacons on what's wrong with me but Goldcrest is our home it is the uh, the primary map for 17 it was the new map that came out uh, if you remember, it only came out with Goldcrest and uh, Solsnovka, and Solsnovka was released on 15. But Goldcrest is our home for the next year and a half, anyway. Goldcrest is the map that will not uh, will not be going anywhere. It has tenure, so. It, uh, it has, what do you call it, tenure and a pension and, you know, whatever, all that, all that stuff. 
it has a contract for at least a year and a half more. Maybe longer than that. I like Goldcrest. It's a pretty, it's a nice map. I mean, you've got everything. You've got uh, big fields. You got logging, and you can do a lot with it. I mean, it's 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 an American map. You just, I mean, you can't really go wrong with it in any, in any way. It's got it's got mountains, but it's also got some flat ground too. And I like the Pacific Northwest anyway. That's where this is based at. If you ever get a chance to go there, I think I've said this before, but if you ever get a chance to go there, go. The air is so clean. I mean, it's just it's just a, a, a great place to go. Great place to see. And I should have picked this up from the other side. Oh, boy. Can I get in there? Hang on, I'm going to try something. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Well, don't look at it just yet. Hang on. I got it in there. Look at that. I'm getting pretty good at this, y'all. I may be ready for my pro patch now. Professional logger. So yeah, I think we got soybean everywhere. Which ain't bad. Soybean is a uh, cash crop. Uh, don't do the same thing again. Let me pick it up from this side. Yeah, soybean, canola, all cash crops. But you gotta have the other ones too. You gotta have wheat and corn and sunflower. Sunflower is a new one. I would think sunflower would be it. it well, yeah, it kind of is a cash crop. It it's about it runs about the same as uh, as uh, canola does. So. I think we've got them all on this side of the track. Now we just got to get these on the inside. This tractor is dirty. I need to wash it. It's been a good little tractor. I've been running it quite a bit. It's got 15, almost 16 hours on it now. here. I might get these done this episode. Whoa, that little bumper. And yeah, that New Holland telehandler laying over there, sitting over there to the left hand side. I'm probably going to repurpose it. It's going to go down to the down to the sheep. I'm going to get a pallet fork for it and start stacking wool pallets with it probably because the tractor I've got down there has reached its uh, maximum height on stacking pallets and that telehandler can go much higher than it can. So. I just had a craving for a cheeseburger. Get me a cheeseburger and some fries. You know what I always wanted to try? 
I don't know, you guys may, maybe, some of y'all may be too young to remember this, and some may be too old to remember it, but back in the 90s, you know, back when Nickelodeon was cool, they came out with a movie called Good Burger, and you know, uh, it had Ed in it for, you know, Welcome to Good Burger, Home of the Good Burger, Can I Take Your Order, great movie, still a great movie to this day, if you haven't seen it, go see it, uh, if you can find it anywhere, I think it's on, uh, probably online, but uh, great movie, and uh, I always wanted to try the Ed Sauce. If you've ever seen that movie, then you know they came out with Ed Sauce to compete with the other place. And uh, I've always wanted to try that. I wonder what they used to make the Ed Sauce. I kind of got, I kind of got a an idea. I mean, they might have, and you could probably Google this, and there might be a story out there on how to make Ed Sauce or what they actually used in the film, but. Uh, they probably, what they probably did was mix up uh, mustard and ketchup together, maybe with some mayonnaise or something. Of course, if you hear Ed describe it, he says, first you start with some pickles and some lemon juice and some ketchup, so I don't know how that, if that's the exact recipe, they may just, you know, use that for lines in the movie. But uh, I've always wondered, you know, if you've ever been to a... Uh, to a Japanese steakhouse, you know, they have that sauce, that orange sauce that, uh, did I finish? Oh, I'm done. Cool. Uh, but anyway, they have that sauce. It's orange. Um, some of the time, I forget what they call it. Uh, sometimes they call it just Japanese steakhouse sauce. Um, and then it's also called yum yum sauce by some. So, actually, I need to take this home over there, don't I? Yep. Here's our big loader. So I wondered if you if you could use that because it's I mean the Ed sauce was orange. So I'm hungry. I need food. All right. I guess I'm just gonna start in the front here. I'll start way over here on this side, and I can probably pick these up with that big loader. Let me bring it over. See if I can tap to it. Yeah, I still got to clean my equipment, guys. Don't judge. There it is. And I'll get back to these trees up here later. Some of these I kind of put in piles, and some of them I did not. So, we will see, we will see. Alright, let me see if I can get these up without knocking them down the mountain. Boy. See if I can kind of rake them up first. do that. And don't fall back down either. Tell you what, let me get them from the other side since I'm going uphill. That might be the smarter thing to do. Might be the smarter thing to do. Let me push these. Whoa, that kind of whipped. If I can push them back up a little bit even. Here we go. I can get up here, maybe. Whoa, downhill. Go back up. Yeah, they're starting to roll now. Come on. Get in there. Come on. 
I want to pick you up. Say what? Let me get this one to help. Oh wow, this thing got enough power to push that thing back. There we go, get on up in there. Get on up in there. Get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. There you go. Now, can I close it? Nope. Almost. Now I can get some of them. Yeah, that's not enough. Come on. Oh, I'm not. I'm not on the ground. I'm up on top of that one. I was like, that's a full load. That'll work. That's why I don't like piling them up, because I think I can pick them up quicker just one by one. It may take just a little bit of patience, but I think I can do it quicker, rather than trying to scoop them up all in one big fork. Don't lose a log in the pig pen. These little uh, IT runner log trailers are great. You know, you can just set them on the ground and use the trailer for something else at the time and just pick up these logs and put them in there and then come back for them later. And you can buy more than one. See, I've got two over there. And you can just come back and pick them up and take them to the log thing. this tractor out of the way a little bit. Whoa, why am I going backwards? Come on. Get out of the way, tractor. Whoa. Go forward. Well, I just barely got these things. Just barely got them. They'll probably fall out before I get there. Need to make right hand turns only. I need to go on the other side of the thing. They're just barely hanging in there. Look at this, I'm making a right hand turn and they still want to slide out. Come on, get in there. Turn them up. I think I was better off just getting them in there. Whoop. Forgot about this thing. Being a little bit wider than the trailer. Whoop. Oh, okay, I got them in there. Maybe I'm not ready for that professional patch yet. Alright, so there's still a few more piles I think I can pick up with this thing before I go and pick them up individually with the uh, the case tractor. So I'll uh, finish this up and get them picked up and 
we'll move on to the next project. So until next time, guys, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Great Arcade. See you guys later.